Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita Mane. In today's session, let us start with a new topic that is accounting for liquidation of companies. This is part 1 of this chapter. In part 1, we are going to study the meaning of liquidation, the definition of liquidation, the what is liquidator and the format of uh, liquidator's final statement of account. So without wasting time, let's start the session. Now first is liquidation of company meaning. What is the meaning of liquidation? A liquidation is a legal procedure by which the corporate life of a company is brought to an end. A liquidation is a process. Okay, liquidation is what? It is a process of winding up and com completely shutting down a company's operation so liquidation in short is what it is a procedure it is a legal procedure by which a company can close down its business means it is dissolving its business a company is what a company is an artificial person which is created by the process of law okay a company comes into exist on the date of incorporation of the company means uh, after getting the incorporation certificate, the company is entitled to carry on its activity in keeping with the objective of its enterprise. So the corporate life of a company can brought to an end only through the process of law. So the process of law by which the corporate life of a company is terminated okay, is known as liquidation. So a company when it is coming to the end or when it is terminated okay, by the process of law is called as liquidation. So liquidation means winding up of a company. Winding up means what? Winding up of a company means realization of assets of company, pay, then payment of liabilities and distribution of surplus amongst the member of the company. So when the company is closing down, when the company is brought to an end at that time, whatever assets the company is having, it will realize, okay, after realization of those assets, they will make the payment of the liabilities. And after making all the payments of the liability, whatever the surplus is remaining, it will be distributed amongst the shareholders of the company. Next is the definition. Now, according to the professor Go Gaurav, Gover, so what is uh, liquidation? So, liquidation or winding up of a company is the process whereby its life is ended. Okay. So, liquidation is what? Liquidation is a com uh, of a company means it is a process by which the company is closing down okay or ending and its property is administrated for the benefits of its creditor so whatever property means whatever assets are remaining with the company it is to be realized and whatever money they are going to get after realization of the assets the money will be pay, used to make the payment of its creditors and the members means the shareholders so an administrator okay called a liquidator now whatever the assets are realized who is going to realize the assets who is going to make the payment to the uh, creditors what will be the process of this liquidation who is going to look after this process of liquidation there there will be a person okay that person will be a liquidator it is appointed by the company so an administrator means called a liquidator is appointed a liquidator is appointed and he takes the control of the company that means in the process of this liquidation a person is going to be appointed this person will be called as liquidator he uh, will take over all the control of the com company where he will realize the assets okay collects uncalled capital pay its debt 
and finally distributes a, uh, distribute any surplus amongst the members in accordance with the rights okay so the, uh, when the company uh, life is going to be terminated or when it is going to be ended at that time the liquidator is appointed so this liquidator is going to look after the process of this liquidation he is going to realize the assets whatever assets are realized he is going to make the payment to the uh, creditors or he will make the payments to the liabilities and remaining after making all the payments to the liability whatever is the remaining surplus or amount it is to be distributed amongst the uh, members and members means the according to uh, members means the shareholders according to the rights okay so in the liquidation process there is the order of payment okay so liquidator is going to realize the assets in any order he can realize the assets in any order but to make the payment to its liability he has to give the give in the particular order only okay so according to that order the liquidator is going to make the payment to the liabilities so this was the definition of liquidation of the company now for the process of uh, winding up or for the process of uh, liquidation of a company a liquidator is appointed okay as i said a person is appointed who is who is going to look after this liquidation process so for the process of liquidation liquidation or winding up of the company a liquidator is appointed who is entrusted with the following duties okay so now what is the duty of this liquidator in the process of liquidation uh, there are some duties which he has to follow so duties are as follows so liquidator uh, duty is what he is going to sell the assets of the company okay then after selling the assets money means re after realization the of the assets money is going to come so whatever money is going to be realized by selling this assets he is going to make the payment to the liabilities okay so uh, make the payment to the liabilities then if there is any deficiency okay to pay uh, to the creditors the uh, the equity shareholders are called upon to pay the unpaid amount on their shares now what this point means okay if there is any deficiency to pay to the uh, liquidator uh, sorry to the creditor the equity shareholders are called upon to pay the unpaid amount on their shares now for example see the face value of each share is 100 rupees but they are paid only if those uh, uh, sh face value of uh, share is 100 rupees if this uh, uh, share is paid only 60 rupees then the remaining 40 rupees is unpaid amount then this unpaid amount will be used as a payable by the shareholders okay only in case of deficiency next point is if there is any surplus after paying all the liabilities okay after paying all the liabilities uh, if there is any surplus okay then it will be distributed amongst the members um, amongst the shareholders in accordance with their rights so these are some these are some duties which liquidator has to follow in the process of liquidation or winding up uh, winding up of the company i will repeat again the duties selling of the assets of the company making the payment to the liability in case of any deficiency in the uh, payment of uh, uh, of the creditors the equity shareholders are called upon to pay the unpaid amount on their shares then if there is any surplus after uh, paying of all the liabilities the surplus is distributed amongst the shareholders as per their rights now see the liquidator's final statement of account okay so liquidator is a person who is appointed to look after this liquidation process 
so once if he is looking after the process of liquidation or winding up he has to prepare some type of accounts okay so this accounts are called as liquidators final statement of account so the liquidator prepares an account known as liquidators final statement of account so this account is prepared on the basis of receipts and payment made by the liquidator now whichever this final statement of account is basically prepared on the basis of receipts and payment which is prepared by him now when he realize the assets means when liquidator realize the assets he need to make the payment to the creditors so while making the payment he need to follow some orders the liquidator has to follow certain uh, order uh, while making the payment to the liabilities or to the creditors so the following is the order in which the disbursement will be made by the liquidator okay in this order the liquidator is going to pay to its liabilities so once he realize the assets so after realizing the asset he has to make the payments to the liability so now what is the order of making the payment to the liabilities so first is legal charges liquidator has to pay the first payment has to make the first payment to the legal charges then next is liquidator's remuneration now for this process of liquidation the liquidator is appointed so he is entitled to get the remuneration for this process okay so liquidator's remuneration he has to make then third is cost of winding up then what uh, means for this uh, entire process of liquidation there is some expenses okay needed so what is the expenses it is to be paid by the uh this thing okay liquidator so on third cost of liquidation fourth is payment made to the preferential creditors fifth is payment made to the debentures holder having a floating charge on assets of the company sixth payment of unsecured creditors seventh amount due to preferential shareholders last is amount due to equity shareholders okay so this is the order which the liquidator has to follow while making the payment to its liability okay so first is legal charges second is liquidator's remuneration third is cost of winding up uh, fourth is payment made to the preferential creditors fifth is payment made to debentures holder having a floating charge on assets of company sixth is payment of unsecured creditors seventh is amount due to preference shareholders amount and last is amount due to equity shareholders okay so in this order the liquidator has to make the payment now next is the for liquidator's final statement of account okay this is the format of liquidator's final statement of account so in the debit side there are receipts okay in the credit side there are payment okay so in receipt first is cash in hand or cash at bank next is two assets realized okay so liquidator is going to realize the assets okay and then if there is any calls unpaid calls okay realize so it can be mentioned in the receipt side so whatever money uh, or whatever assets are going to be realized by through that payment or through that money the liquidator is going to make this following payments here okay so like uh, in the payment side in the credit side it will be by legal charges then by liquidator's remuneration if there is any fixed amount paid to the remuneration it is to be mentioned here if there are certain percentage okay uh, if there is certain percentage fixed on some amount realized on the assets it is to be mentioned then percentage on amount paid to the unsecured creditors after making the payment to the liquidator's remuneration next is cost of liquidate winding up of company Uh, winding cost of winding up next is by payment to uh, preferential creditors by payment to debentures holder if there is out any outstanding interest it is to be mentioned here 
then by payment of unsecured uh, creditors and then after making all the liabilities then uh, if any surplus is remaining then it is to be distributed to the members okay uh, members means to the shareholders as per their preferential rights okay so for uh, in the after making the payment till unsecured creditors if there is payment remaining if there is any balance or if there is any surplus remaining then it is to be distributed to the preferential shareholder first and then second equal to the equity shareholders okay then total both the side credits uh, debit side as well as credit side means receipts and payment should be tally okay so this is the format of liquidators final statement of account in this manner or in this format the liquidator has to prepare the final statement of account receipts and payment okay so this is the format according to this format you have to solve the examples okay fine thank you i hope you have understood today's session Thank you very much. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification.